hey, I'm in my kitchen hanging out. I gotta show you something, but first I'm gonna show you the new book I got. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to read or collect books. <laughs> um, but I got this, it's called Broken Bread. How to Stop Using Food and Fear to Fill Spiritual Hunger. It's by Tilly Dillahay, I guess. Um, so I'm adding to my collection of books that I'm reading because um, I'm trying to study a certain topic. So I wanted to tell you about that. I got to flip this around. I can't stink. But my son, well, we were gone last week. Some of you saw we were on a trip. Well, we were in um, Canada. Um, our son, he stayed home. We've got sibling nearby and we've got... Um, his grandparents nearby and he's almost 17 so you know he's very responsible but he likes to like surprise us with projects that he gets done while we're gone well this time he cleaned out anyone have a lazy Susan that's like you don't even know what all's hidden like like and I have a THM cupboard that um probably has expired items some of them I use expired because I know they last longer than that and they're shelf stable but the the boy he went there and so this cabinet <laughs> was I didn't even know what was up in here and he's like he's organized it he organized my <laughs> spice cabinet and the scariest area would be down here, my lazy Susan. Let me see if I can, that he has now filled with my THM goodies on the turn style. I need to go through some of them because I know some of them are probably like, you know, might need thrown away. That's my tea, sorry. But anyway, he went through that whole thing he assures me he threw several bags of trash away. Um, I believe he had help from my mother. She snuck. I think he was a little overwhelmed. Oh, and then this area here. This is just real life, okay? This area here to here <laughs> was full of supplements and vitamins and medicine and different things. So I lost kind of a chunk of countertop. So anyway, he's like, Mom, now you have your your ninja here, air fryer. He's like, granny's bread box. And I got your KitchenAid out that you probably forgot you had. So anyway, he and mom went, and I think my mom bought this like cabinet, you know, to put my supplements in. Sorry for the weird wall back there. We moved our fridge out and got a big honking fridge. So there's kind of a an area we need to paint and work on. But anyway, he was like extremely proud of himself and um, got an organizing job done at home that I was going to have my daughter-in-law help me with. Um, she's been helping me with projects when I can't quite, I get a little overwhelmed and can't do it myself. So he did that plus the weed eating and mowing and he cleaned out the gutters and he chopped wood and... I don't even know what all he did, but he was really proud of himself. So anyway, he's a sweet kid. We're thankful for him. Um, you know, it was just funny to come home and he just was like taping me walking down the hall to see what he had done in the kitchen. So anyway, I need to write him a little note. Um, but I wanted you to see my new little cleaned up THM area, my, you know, cabinet. He had a lot of a lot of goodies in there he threw away. He said that were outdated or scary. <laughs> but otherwise, he was really proud of himself. But we had a good trip to Canada. A lot of you followed along a little bit. I thought it was getting, I was probably boring. So I stopped and one lady was, left me a nasty message about why would anyone want to care about what you eat? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so you know how people are. But anyways, I, um, we had a fun trip. We got home Friday night. Um, we're kind of getting back on track. We're tired, getting laundry done and all the things. Um, but we had a good time away together. Um, Shan worked a lot, but I, I had fun. Um, 
spend a lot of time alone, um, which I need sometimes. It helps me recharge. I know some people get a charge out of being around people. And I used to be that way when I was younger. But now I'm more of a uh, need alone time and quiet, which I'm sure is hard for people that are used to me being the opposite direction, but it's just how it is. Um, but I wanted you to show you that book. So some of you can check it out. Maybe I'll link it in the comments. Um, I'm reading the other book too. I just, when I see something, I'm bad about just getting it when it's a book. Cause I'm like, okay, I'm studying this topic, emotional eating, reasons why we do different things like that. And, um, there's an Elise Fitzpatrick one that one of you recommended. I'm going to get that one too. I wanted to check and see if I already had it though, because I have a lot of her, uh, books. I love her, her writing. So, but I just wanted to check in. I went past my 50 days, um, on my app. I think I'm at 53 today. Um, so I, you probably saw that in my other update. I'm doing this, the SEMA, they call it SEMA or Ozempic. Um, my doctor has me on that for the type two. Um, and I'm doing that. I've got to go weigh in with my doctor this week. She's keeping track of me that way too. Um, and just, uh, hope you guys all enjoy your 4th of July holiday. Tell me what treats below you're taking along with you to help out, um, Usually it's not too hard on 4th of July because most people are grilling out some kind of meat that you can have. Um, maybe you can take a low-carb tortilla or Joseph's or whatever you guys use these days for low-carb buns. I just usually eat it without. Um, I'm going to do a veggie tray. i got to go get some stuff today for one get-together and the other one. I'll probably take a cauliflower casserole because everybody likes it. Um... I get tired of eating it every once in a while. I'm like, okay, I've had this once a week, you know, but my son loves cauliflower casserole. So it's one of those easy things to, to make. Um, that's about it. I won't drag it on. Um, haven't walked too much. My back's doing way, way better. I was, that's why I was having trouble, uh, walking. So, um, but my doctor, my chiropractor has been helping me and that's going better. So I'm hoping, hoping I need to get my rear end in the gym. Um, my kiddo is very into working out and um, passionate about it and getting in shape for basketball season. So he says he's going to help me. So I don't know. I <laughs> I get into anyone else intimidated by the gym because it's intimidating for me at my size right now to like walk into the gym and everybody in there is like there's a lot of young you know, muscle building dudes in there. And I guess at least I'm, I'm trying if I go. So usually I just kind of walk or sit in the car and read, but I need to like actually go try to build some muscle in some way, do some weight training, even if it's with bands or something light at first, I need to figure something out. So, but that's about it. Just checking in, filling in on the trip was good and how everything went. And, um, back home and ready for celebrating um we did some we had some fireworks we went to saturday i don't know if we'll see any more but we're gonna go spend time with family tomorrow i hope you have a wonderful fourth of july and we'll check back soon